Hi. Something that I gradually learned over over the years is that uh, majority rule. Majority rule. And what's ironic is uh, even if they're wrong, majority rule. I mean, that's that's pretty much like the one rule. Is that the majority rule? You can have a, the interesting thing about a workplace, and the same goes for school, like you know, high school or or whatever. Is that it's a miniaturized version of the country or the world, and the same dynamics apply in like a high school or a workplace that has, you know, the more people it has, the more, you know, obviously, the more people that are part of the equation, you know, if you will, the more potentially messy it could get or dramatic or whatever. So majority rule, you know, is pretty much a planetary, I mean, that's how it pretty much works. Um, well, that's not true because it's like the, the people who actually pull the strings in the world are the, uh, are the minority. But the majority, are, of course, are all a sheepy. I mean, I'm not a sheepy. <laughs> but all us, I guess, working folk, you know, working, working class folks who uh, don't have a say. So the, you know, the workplace, or like I said, a high school, but you know, well, I am not in high school luckily, so, you know, I can't comment on that, but it, that same holds true. But in the workplace, I just think it's so ironic and so tragic that, uh, that, you know, arguably being right is, you know, so much is a matter of opinion. And being right, you know, I guess in a lot of cases, unless you're referring to actual, you know, mathematics or certain things, in a lot of cases, right or wrong is subjective. But you know, they'll, they, in the past at work, there's been instances where it's been like I'd, I'd talk to the manager about, you know, or they'd be talking to me about, you know, stuff that they feel I'm not doing, uh, I'm not doing, or, or ways that they feel I'm rebelling or not not moving along with the, you know, not participating with the team or whatever. And I'd say either, you know, I'd say something like, well, this is why I don't, or this is something, I can't remember specifically, but the answer from the management would always be, well, no one else has a problem. Or, no, if I'd say something about a person, this person, you know, or, or, or you, you know, I have a, you know, not happy with the way you treat me or, the, the, you know, the way this person treats me, and then it'll always be, which, even it, whether it's true or not is irrelevant. A lot of cases it probably wasn't even true, but the, the management would always, management's response would always be, well, no one else has a problem with that. And I think to myself, let's say you're actually being truthful, which is probably not the case. What does it matter if no one else has a problem with what I have a problem with? And it's completely irrelevant. At what point does it become relevant? Let's say there's 10 employees at the job. Do you need to have like five, half of the employees have a problem with it before, you know, or six before the issue 
becomes relevant, like if there's four out of ten that have a problem with something, well then it's just, they're just screwed up, obviously. The rest of us six, you know, have no problem with it, so there is no problem. It's stupid. And what if, you know, what if you got a group of ten employees who are all just average and dumb and insensitive and just coarse people and you have one one of the ten is someone who's actually got a little bit of intellect and a sensitive person and and they see the faults of the rest of the, the other nine and in my experience the majority are uh, the average person the majority of course it's it's all subjective it's from my point of view but they, in my experience, they don't see as well as I see. They don't see as much as I see. And that could be in, I guess, mainly just in... It's like they don't see all there is to be seen. Not that I claim to see there all there is to be seen. But I, I can't think of anything specific. But it's almost like when you're... I feel like I have, I, I feel like I can see more, I'm more aware of things. I can, f I, I feel like I can feel people's emotions. And I can f almost feel what they think about, what their position is when I'm talking to them or moment to moment. I don't know what the hell, where the hell this video is going. It started majority rule. So we might as well keep it on that uh, tack, but we're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna end soon here, but uh, I find that uh, it's hard to, for me so far to just start with a topic. You know, everything's just a big bunch of stuff in my brain and it's not, you know, that I think about or have to say and it's not, none of it is organized in, in little manila folders in my brain. There's no, there's no manila folders in my brain. There's no file cabinets in my brain. My head would be really heavy, like, <clears throat> if there were. So everything's in there, just in this big cluster of junk, so. <laughs> I don't know what to title these videos when I just go all over the place, you know? Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, it'd be nice to have a topic and stick with it, but a lot of times I get sidetracked and move on to, to other things, and... Majority Rule, that's probably what this video is called, and, uh... And what's ironic is, I don't know, in my experience, a lot of most, more often than not, the majority, uh... Majority, uh... It's uninformed and I don't know. I think that just uh, I don't. I don't think there's enough. Uh, not enough thinking among the majority. I think. Thanks for watching.